Okay, here we are with Saints Row 4. Now, I have been playing this fucking constantly. That is the that is the fact over the last few uh, days. I've actually played it more than Alien Isolation at this point. Although that wasn't difficult, because you've seen my entirety of me playing Alien Isolation. I haven't played it since then, because I keep saying I will record it. And that will be part of this week at some point, uh, along with a few other things. Because I, I, I want to record more of it now. I, wanna, I do want to explore that game and I want to see, but... The new DLC for this was coming out, and so I thought, well, hell, might as well be the best time to get it. So I did, and I got the big sort of uh, bundle uh, where it's there was 20 p I think it was like 20 pieces of DLC. It was really cheap at this point. I, I've got to admit, I might wait out some other games a bit more next time. Now you might notice playing as female version of the boss because, well, that's what I do at this point. <laughs> I do have an, uh, a thing of just continuously playing as sort of a uh, female character and stuff when I can, and it's not a sort of, uh, like, well, I, you know, stuff like with Mass Effect, we have the uh, sex scene, the same with Dragon Age, stuff like that. It's just because I seem to, when I'm playing as a female character, be more lucky in sort of video games or st and other stuff. Like, all throughout Left 4 Dead, I played as Zoe, and I, I was, I did pretty fucking well as Zoe, so... <laughs> So it's an odd thing, and yeah, then in Left 4 Dead 2 I was the, uh, what's her, I can't remember what her name is now. I've not played Left 4 Dead 2 in a long time. I really do want to play it again, it's a very good game. But I usually then stick to playing uh, female characters, just because really, that's about it. Although of course at the same time, um, you know, if I want to play as a male character, I can switch at any point. The brilliant thing of this game. So, I'm just, while I'm talking, I'm just running around and uh, collecting the uh, clusters that you need to find. It's part of one of the challenges, so it's just, you know, busy, you know, pointless busy work as it is. So, and that's the sort of thing, you know, I don't mind playing a female character either, I like it. It's, you know, a hell of a change in most games. I want, you know, if I want to play a male sort of gangster character, I've got three in Blumen GTA 5, I really want to do that. Actually, even in GTA f uh, 5 in the online mode, my um, playable character is a female. Made an, I made a uh, male character originally, but then I made it during the early days, so my game fucked up and I couldn't use him, and then I was like, alright, well I'll make another one then. Made a female character, and then I was like, oh, well now the game works. Like, alright, I'll stick with that. So that's how I just, you know, that's how that ended up being. And now that character is, like, level 78, and I don't really want to waste my time, uh... Oops, that was the wrong thing. Uh, trying to level up a new character just to conform with my gender. So, you can... Yeah, there we go. Just trying to, I just learned you could destroy those statues. <laughs> Due to the, uh, collectible... Col uh, the collectible locator that I unlocked. Uh, by doing the missions. So yeah, I'm, it's funny. I had a I was having a conversation with someone about the about GTA three, and GTA four, uh, not GTA, but about Saints Row three and Saints Row four, and they were saying about how they didn't like this one as much as the previous one, and I can kind of see maybe why, but at the same time, I really loved this version. This version feels like a superhero that like the superhero game I've never gotten to play. You know, just sort of like creating creating your own. I mean, you know. Batman Arkham Asylum is still one of the best superhero games on the market, and there's very little in comparison that can keep up with it. But still, this feels... this is kind of like, almost like how I wanted DC Universe Online to be. Instead of being like one of three movement styles, and then one of seven um, uh, powers, and stuff like that. And also, you can, yeah, you can have your character. Your character could be a bit more customizable than I think it, it, in it than I think it even was with um, DC Universe Online. And I, I played DC Universe Online. I was one of the I, I was one of the early people when it was released who tried it. Um, I was I I played it and I played it for a while. But the problem is I was having MMOs is I get bored of them very quickly. Can't, unless I've got people to play it with, which is how it died. I had someone to play uh, World of Warcraft with for a while. And then he stopped playing it, and so I had no one, and so that account just went. I don't know what it is. I'm not a social person by nature. So it means that I don't really interact with other people a lot in that way. Which is probably a really bad thing in a way, but meh. It just means I don't play MMOs much. I got, if I had people to play MMOs with, I would. You know, I'd play DC Universe Online, I'd play World of Warcraft, stuff like that.
It's just a thing, really. Uh, but right, I ought to get uh, to looking to do some missions and stuff instead of just leaping around here and being all awesome. Because I am, but still, we knew that already. We know I'm awesome. That's uh, the character's awesome. I'm a little less so. An awesome, an awesome person would not um, have forgotten to put up a video the previous week and is now making a load of them to basically make up for it. Which is why I've recorded one earlier today already and now this is the second one I've, I've uh, done. And I'll pr possibly try and do two more tomorrow if I have the time but tomorrow is usually the busy day on the uh, daily motion side because when I was listening um, I have two sort of sides to this, which is one here on YouTube, which is video games, and then over on Daily Motion, um, I do the reviews that you can find on my YouTube channel. But they are they are like the few that I am okay to put up. That is why there's very few. If you go to the Daily Motion channel, uh, which is same same uh, channel name as this uh, channel, you will be able to find them, and there's a lot more than uh, what's you can see. And I do like doing them. Very fun. Means I have to watch some very shit movies, but still. <laughs> this this uh, month's fair of movies has not been perfect. So I'll grab the rest of the ones, uh, the clusters that are around here, and then I'll go do a mission. It shouldn't take me too long. I just gotta climb up this thing, I think. Oh, shit, nope. Oh no, there's one secret one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But no, I've had fun with this game at the moment. It's been very fun. I I played a bit of uh, Saints Row 3 just to remind myself of some of the controls and stuff. And I gotta admit, I had I've had more fun playing this than I was going back into Saints Row uh, 3 in comparison. There's some of the stuff like the superpowers and stuff, especially. That's I think that's where it's really drawn me in. I've enjoyed the if occasionally questionable uh, with. How did it set up superpowers? Ah, it's just up there, is it? Alright. Super speed! But yeah, this does remind me a lot of how DC Universe Online ran. Like the, like the, if you, the super speed up walls and stuff. And the, I was looked with DC Universe Online is that um, if you super speed it up, you see, you, is you super speed up wall, you had the ability of flight, or you uh, were able to move quick, you were able to like climb and stuff. Which always meant that's, the most unrealistic bitch. version because you could basically climb up a building, but you climb up as if like you were grabbing hold of it and pulling yourself up, which wasn't the best. They could have put more thought into that, maybe. That's not exactly. um, my original character on that, I th think was, I think was dual like dual wielding weapons. I don't think it was guns. I think I was using something else. Um, but I don't remember, so I cannot. T I can't, couldn't. Oh, wait, another one over there. So I could not tell you for the life of me. I, I, it might have been. I feel like I was dual wielding. Oh, it might have been fists. Maybe I was using fists because essentially my guy was meant to be like a ver a parody of the question. Although I don't mean parody. I mean basically giant blatant ripoff. That's <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, yeah, this is this is late on it. This is uh, not late. Well, probably somewhere around second act, second part of the game. So stuff has gone wrong, and I'm going to rescue people, and it's all very fun. So I'm going to yeah, I'm going to rescue Kinsey because she was captured earlier. So let's save her. But first, I'm going to break the statue. And I also actually, if I run across, if I run across a ammo shop while I'm going here, I'll uh, use it. What I probably could do with actually at the moment, keep finding it necessary. Uh, but anyway, so I built this character who's called who was called the Answer. That's what he was called, and it was this. It was more of a joke. It was the the funny thing is actually how that came about was um, I was watching my brother go through um, the. It must have been the first uh, Batman. It must have been the first Batman game. And basically, I knew how to do stuff as I was watching him play it because I had already completed it. And so I kept, like, if he needed help in it, I kept sort of saying, "Okay, well, you do this, you do this, you, uh, this is how you solve uh, this." Or like with like with a lot of the um, puzzles that were finding certain items and uh, stuff like the penguins' umbrellas and 
I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember what else in that. Oh, the, um, or stuff like the Mad Hatter's uh, tea set that's in the uh, the after conservatory the part of it. My face, they had to and so after a while, yeah. I kept jokingly referring to myself as the answer the because I had the answer to everything. Because you know I'm childish. Uh, but because my brain doesn't like to likes to uh, sort of snowball ideas when I have stuff like that, which is why, which is why you know if you, if I if I'm left alone my own, if I'm left to my own device for a while, I'll, I might come up with something really interesting as like a movie or a TV show, and I'll have worked it out. Uh, but basically, because of that, I began saying, you know, working out in my head, I was like, oh, well, who would the answer be as a superhero? And I start, you know, I put pin this stuff together. So stuff like he's trained by. Um, and this this was when I'd I had briefly read uh, I'd, I can't remember where he appears. I think it was it was either Countdown or Fifty Two. It was one of the two. It was one of the two DC crossover comics. Uh, because I basically had it be that he was the idea of the character was um, he was part partly trained by the Question because that's my favourite. Uh, just gonna grab these while I'm here. The Question because that's my favorite. That's my favourite uh, DC superhero. Just because he's fucking mental, um, but also because I'm a big fan of the DC animated DC animated series, where the question whether he's in an episode, I'm so happy that he's there. Uh, but then the other side was that he was then also trained by the Riddler, but this was not the Riddler as a bad guy. Hmm. And just look at the subtitles here. That's, that's it seems. <laughs> well, at least he's not as annoying as Wheatley. Something's wrong. Sid, talk to me. I don't know. I, I, I. Oh, here I go. So, uh, maybe I should follow Sid. Into a Sid? I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Keep your hands out of that code. But um, so basically, just remember it right myself while I'm trying to see what's going on here. So basically, it was the in the I can't remember which comic which crossover is it. He was um, it was at the time when the Riddler was a good guy. I don't know if that's still like that in the DC. I also looked that up at some point. But basically, he was a good guy at the time and a, de and a detective. Bunnies don't seem very Kinsey. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected yeah, to some the sort of secret. It's the bunny that you secret can find room? in every game. Okay, that does sound like her. Almost afraid to see what's in it. You might, be, you might be afraid. I'm not. <laughs> this is Kinsey. It could be anything. But uh. So basically, the, that was the idea that he basically the this character had been trained by both the question and the Riddler, and so Absolutely. obviously the um, idea. This this shows how sort of far I was thinking about it. It's like the idea was that he took his own name from the idea um, with the with this thought that basically what comes after the question, what comes after a question and a riddle, the answer. So that's where he got his name. I basically tried to make him look as much like the question as I could, but annoyingly you can't make a no face. So that really always bugged me. I kind of wanted that. I kind of wanted like, to, to have the sort of facelessness of the question. I always thought it would be fun. And then I, oh god, I'm back in the 50s gear again like I was at the beginning. me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is back... At the beginning of the game, basically, he was stuck in a simulation of, like, the 50s, which was the most irritating thing I've ever had to play. But that's meant to be the point. Kinsey! Kinsey, come on, let's make ourselves Yay. scarce. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Kinsey? <laughs> Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Yep, she's as sort of mental me as I was at the beginning. Right? I love how... I love the fact that I've still got the tattoos what? and I've still got the uh, purple armband. Oh, Hurry! I'm being held captive by Kinsey. Where'd she go? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more. Damn it, around. Matt! Shut up. Driving would be easier with my. Bo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but um, so then basically after a while of playing a uh, hero character, uh, who I think was trained, I think it was Batman. I think it went the gadgets route because that's what it sort of was. That was that was the only other problem with DC Universe Online. Did not work that well uh, with the sort of like, the distinction. You have one of three. But then I went. I was playing villain cat for a while, who I called Ellie Mental, and she was basically a very very sort of diminutive, as very short as possible as can make her. But had um. Wait. Ah. But then had uh. 
sort of the like the lava skin you could make. I made like made it so that like she had lava skin and so her powers were fire based. Even though I want them to make all the elements, but I don't know if you I don't think you could do all the elements. I think you had to just do the that one element you had. And I know it seems weird that I've spent a lot of time at the moment talking about DC Universe Online when I'm playing Saints Row 4, but I can't help it. It's just how it's just what's made me think of it. <laughs> her head's in a wall. That bump sure was a doozy, wasn't it? Get to City Hall. Hurry! God, that's disturbing. <laughs> oh yeah, her head's in a, in a wall. I, I didn't take the police car. Nope, too broken. Wait, it's still saying to... Do you remember Cyrus Temple? The paramilitary thug who tried to save America by destroying it with a big-ass nuclear missile? Yeah, yeah, we crossed paths. He's... in charge here. No way. Uh-uh, isn't that fucker dead? Not in Kinsey's mind, no. Yeah, we've killed a fair few people and found them in the simulation. I don't know why that's a surprise. But I have enjoyed this, and I've, I enjoy the madness that only Saints Row could create. I can't wait for the DLC for the uh, God Out of Hell God DLC, because that seems like it's going to be interesting. He's like 20 years younger and dressed normal, more or less. And he's dressed like Patton, for one thing. Hook me up with some firepower. I can't! We're no f***ing help, and I can't listen to this garbage one more minute. He has speaker boxes all over town. If you really want to shut him up, you have to take them all out. That's cool. So if I try and jump on the stage, it'll just yeah. I will enforce the rules. What the hell was that? That's kind of clever. The well -oiled machine, it needs to be that's a good way. To, that's a good way of basically like saying this is why you can't just go there and stop. What does this switch do? Men are built for labor. It shows in our. And that buddy, if you don't find a way to give me some kind of weapon, I'm telling you, this simulation is locked. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's excited. This can't end <laughs> I've left you something in a weapons crate. It is their duty to make sure the Done. needs of our home. Shows that he's not quite as good as Kinsey, though. Oh. What is this? Am I fighting a block party? I told you no weapons allowed. But the power of music can overcome all obstacles. I feel like that's just yeah, an excuse. He's just Let not as good as Kinsey was at breaking the fucking simulation. The <laughs> there are two more. Stop propaganda truck? What's about that? Whoa! Shitting hell! Wow, that guy was. Come at me! We must remember those people on the front. What makes us a I do have the cool thing with this. Fuck it. It's like playing fucking GTA. If I wanted someone to be continuously trying to run over me, I would let. I would play that. I do have the fact that the um the dubstep gun. If the I got some, like some of the other alternate versions of it. Yeah, because I think that's part of the DLC pack anyway. But if you pull it, whenever you play it, it starts creating music. And originally, when I was doing it, it was doing a uh, ride of the Valkyries. I was like, okay, it's pretty cool. That moment you kind of want in a game. Oh shit, in hell, dude! Seriously, calm the fuck down. Ow. 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 Jackasses. I love the fact that it's the blasts are playing to the to the music specifically. Not the blast create. <laughs> burning, burning. Oh sh! Stop running me over, you dicks! But seriously, if I wanted to have people constantly trying to run me over, I would just play GTA Online. I really would. That's all you ever get there, you just get assholes running you over. And I really do, it really kind of buzzes me that there's no sort of, like, a, you know, there's a, I can't think of what the phrase would be. Just like, a sort of common sense in GTA, which is if you see someone running down the street, and they're just doing something, don't try and fucking drive them over. You know, common sense, sort of de common decency, that's what it is. There's going to be three of them this time, aren't there? Yep, there is. Yep, yeah, there's three of them. Ow, 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 ow. That one. Sorry, fellas, my dance card is full. Ow. Quit fucking running me over, you dicks. Fuck the lot of you. That was hilarious. They actually got stuck trying to kill me. Ow. 
All they need is like a small pedestal of some form. Just something where they cannot fucking touch me because they can't run me the fuck over. So fucking hell. And they really don't want me to get said Paul's small pedestal, apparently. I'm gonna use it. No, climb up on that. Climb up! Ha! Eat dicks! Eat annoying repetitive music that people keep think thinking for some reason is good! I don't get dumpstep. I'm 23. I don't, you know, it's just. It's not, a, it's not a thing of being too old. It's just a thing of like. It's just. It just I kind of show the sort of mentality. I'm just like, it's just noise. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know if it keeps being used in fucking film trailers either. Why do I have to dance? The Sam Hill? I thought this was a party. Let's dance. He does look like Patton, though. And Kinsey is going to kill us that we made her dance. Kinsey is going to absolutely murder us, right? You realize that she really does not like this song. Also, only in Saints Row 4. <laughs> Oh, that's not fair. He's got superpowers. That's clever. I wish you could... That'd be a really cool thing if you could put in other tracks. Wouldn't that be really cool? Of course, mine would all be, um, fucking... Uh, Ben Folds. But that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. But well, this is the, wasn't there another game that was similar to that. Oh, is it? I thought there was something similar where you could put stuff in and it would affect things specifically. But I forget. The fuck off, cops! I ain't gonna be with you. Oh yeah. Die. Die by lots of dubstep gun. Will not survive it. <laughs> I know the fact that it's that sort of design of like the, as if it's an old, uh, sort of boombox sort of thing. The only problem with this gun and the only problem with the whole idea is that you then have to listen to the same bit of music playing over and over again. If you get a hit, you have to fucking stop every time. Kids, in, yeah. let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you swore. Yeah, so the simulation's going down. <laughs> so fucking stupid some of these characters. I have liked this game. I do I, there is something there is there is just something about it. It's the childish side and it appeals so perfectly. Don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand? Told you she'd be pissed. It really wasn't all that I said anyone. Hey, you Okay, Kinsey, calm the fuck down. Don't <laughs> <laughs> just, just never. <laughs> Kinsey, Kinsey may be my favorite character, but mainly because she's just fucking mental. Hilariously mental and... I already have the dubstep gun. I already have everything. It's kind of hilarious. I know one of the things is the, um... The, I got... My character got, you know, got the, the tattoos in the in the simulation. And when it came out of the simulation, for somehow, had the same tattoos. Thus making it kind of confusing as to whether or not that was a simulation or not. Because you could have had the idea that she, you wouldn't have them in the simulation. Which would make sense, like with how her hair changes as well. Although oddly, I sometimes wonder about how uh, this game is a little buggy because it kept glitching. It glitched a couple of times recently, and it's very, very irritating. Oh yeah, I have to, I have to go get uh, the super version of Kinsey. I have to see what her outfit looks like for this because some of the others looked awesome. Admittedly, Matt Miller's looks like he is the gayest, <laughs> the, most, the most sort of stereotypical gay superhero ever, with lots of, with this very slight, mildly pink. Which seems ironic, given the fact that, uh, you know, uh, homosexual sort of depictions in superhero comics have not been as bad in the most recent years. Oh, I don't know, maybe they have been, I don't know. There's the few I've seen, like with uh, Hulkling and Wiccan. It's very good, it's very, very good, very progressive. It's a shame some of the other parts isn't, but yeah, still. <laughs> a lot of areas still need to progress a bit, I think, sometimes. See, I don't feel, I don't feel like this has been going on quite as long as the uh, Silent Hill Let's Play I've done, which is, I was taking a, I was, that was taking, I felt like it was taking a long time. But I think it's because this game should be more fun, Silent Hill's a bit dull. 
But I'm just playing stuff, recording it, and releasing it. I don't have a sort of quality control situation going here. Are you here. kidding me? He's... Whoa, kidding. Why are you so pissed off? You saw what he put me in. You saw. Huh. Here I am thinking this might be about Technically it was a simulation of Zaniac who put you in it. That Cyrus is dead. This Cyrus is running rampant in the simulation. I've managed to shut him down each time before things got too hairy, but it blow everything up! Well, someone sure is excited about taking the fight to the enemy. <laughs> just get in a tank already! Reporting for Blow everything up? That's just what I do. What? Into the tank we go. I do like how it's kind of like they're using the old the elements that from the previous fun. game. So it doesn't feel really like they're reusing it because it makes sense. Which I guess is still them using it. But at least it's, it's reusing it for purpose. This thing have a this thing have an like, ultimate gun fire on the end. Ah, screw that thing, I don't have to kill it. I said blow up everything else. Blow shit up! Blow shit up! The information of Cyrus came from my subconscious. I can only assume he took some of my knowledge about how this whole thing works with him. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? Do you realize how crazy everything since we were abducted from the White House sounds? I'm just trying to roll with the punches and not dwell on the absurdity. The game's entire way of saying, "Yeah, we know this is kind of fucking weird. Just go with it, please." And that's kind of the thing. The game knows it's insane at times but it revels in it. It, it happily states yep yeah, it's Here weird it but fuck it it works I hope you're ready for this bitch ready's my middle name not you him <laughs> can't wait to take you back to where you belong is he trying to get in the tank whoa oh, okay well that's new <laughs> eat alien RPG bitch like that okay that was a uh, I have a little too quick. Hey, jackass! Are you still uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna stomp his ass. Ha! Eat dick! Eat shotgun! Uh, a bitch. I really. Somebody remind me to go to the fucking ammo section after. Shit. Wow, I forgot I was trying we need to remember to get on there. Really do. Kill the reinforcements! Oh, that's gonna be really easy. Boom! You see what I do? This is, old, this is gonna be old, bitch. Real. Okay, I'm gonna pay for doing that. Eat explosions! Lots and lots of explosions. I have I've cleared out all the uh, the there's uh, inject virus missions where you basically have to kill lots of people, and I have been doing I have been going through those at a rate of knots thanks to the power when well, the powers have gone. Because it basically is it's just um, an explosion, but then it explodes and continues to explode, and thus is awesome and thus very 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 useful as well. Um, I'm going to wait for them to summon them all, and then I'm going to go EXPLODE! EXPLOSIVO! EXPLOSIVA! <laughs> I miss... Oh, I miss Total Draw and Ryland. Let's see if I can get it on fucking DVD. For anybody who knows that series. Some of you might. It's a good series. If you don't know it, then... You should. Ha! <laughs> Turn them into a statue. This is just gonna get really, really repetitive, sort of thing. Wow. Yep, Kinsey's looks like a what I kind of what I expected. Slightly superhero-y, slightly bondagey. It's probably what I expect. It's pretty much what I expected. Sort of slightly latex. Okay, Kinsey's got issues. Uh, Kinsey. Okay, yeah, I am gonna have a fucking hell of a time trying to fix this later when I have to go through all of the um, audio trying to repair it because the audio was slightly out there again, which is something I've noticed. There's been a lot of issues with this. I don't know what it is exactly, but the game seems to have a little issues. And given that my the software I used to record this anyway, hey, 
Um, full Kinsey. <laughs> I get it. Given the software I used to record this already has some uh, slight issues uh, with recording it because it basically will knock the audio and video out of sync every once in a while. It's not really helpful. I wish I, I've got a way I could fix the issue, which is just either I turn down the amount it's recording at, or I get a better processor. And I gotta admit, if I had, if I had people, if the videos are doing a bit better, like these ones or the Daily Motion ones, or say, um, there are people with the Patreon stuff, which you know I'm not trying to bring that up, but I'm just stating as a fact. Then you know I might be able to do stuff, and I might be able to make stuff better and. The real, the real thought is, the real uh, goal is the idea to do this as a thing, to be a thing I can, I'm doing continuously and constantly. You know, I have fun making both of my videos and, the, and making these videos, so it's all the, th it's all the things. I just wish, let me guess, it's, no. uh, ah. but you know, it's about, the problem is making these videos and doing this stuff. Oh fuck! I've got the entire army about to come and try and kill me, haven't I? Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. <clears throat> but it's one of those moments of you know, the making these video videos after a while costs an amount, you know, costs money, and I've never been able to. I would like at least just barely to be able to say that I wasn't in the red, in as uh, to put it in terms. Let's you know, just put it in sort of. <laughs> So if this ever the phrase simple accounting terms has been used, I don't think it has. But to put it in sort of terms, you know, like every video I make say, you know, every video I make costs three quid. You know, using the English using the proper English instead of me trying to instead of me for some reason then translating like it into American, because no need. Uh, but you know, Sage video costs me sort of like three pounds to make. I'm, you know, making back very little in comparison. You know, each video does not make cost me three pounds to make unless I already own the game, which you know that it doesn't. But no, uh, I do wish you know it's had the. But it's it's one of those things. It's really isn't it? It's that sort of moment of you want to be appreciated for doing these things and for people enjoying your stuff and the way it works. It's the same reason why I still one of the things I want to do in my life is uh, write cartoons. I want to write a cartoon series. I can't. Add, I couldn't animate it if I tried because I've not got the. I got all, I got the uh, artistic ability of a man with no hands, but still, you know, this is one of the things I wanted. One of the things I want to do is make a cartoon series, and I've written stuff and I've sent stuff out, uh, but I'm only, I've not sent it very much out, so that needs to be done. That's something else I've been meaning to do at the moment as well. <laughs> so many things to do, so many things forgotten about. But it's that sort of slow. It's that moment. I lo and and I do find it funny though uh, when I'm doing these videos and stuff. I just I just talk. I swear this is like fucking, it's, it's like some form of therapy almost for me in a way. I can just get out everything and people listen. Well, they listen, they listen as they watch me play a video game. For all I know, you've turned off the sound and you can't hear what I'm saying. The fuck is this thing? I will find this cluster. Do, do not think I won't. You know, it's all well and good having a thing that tells you where the markers are, where the stuff is, but it's no good if you can't see the fucking thing. Oh, wait. It's down there. And good. Got it. I'm gonna jump over here, and I'm gonna drop to right between this crack. Yes! Okay, so there's another thing. Yeah. Boom! And take all of those. I have no idea how many more of these I'm gonna have to get, to but I'm really it's gonna Constantly be a while. Baked out of my mind, always looking for the next party. You'd think after I got my own dating show, I would have been even more of a train wreck, but doing TV is hard work. Who has time to go smoke up when they have to be on set at 6 a.m.? That's the way it works. Things have, you know, stuff going on. Just stop you doing stuff. But no, it's just one of those things, I guess, you know. When you make videos and stuff, you want people to be appreciating your work, you want people to be enjoying it. I think, that's a, I think that's a thing that kind of irritates me in a way that I don't know if people like enjoy my work Zinyak. because a lot of, like you know occasionally I get you know comments and stuff more more often than not the comments are insulting me but still <sighs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you that's the one thing that you gotta you know if you make it I you know if anyone's ever gonna make 
videos, that is the one sort of thing you have to know straight away is that you are going to be able to take what is going to be dished out of you because, you know, it will be no fault of your own, really, but you are going to have to be able to take what... I like that. That's coming to me. Uh, but you are going to have to be take to a dish out because, you know, some people will just leave comments who are... Uh, you know, and they don't seem to care about what they're saying. It just seems, to, you know, seem pretty brutal. Although I've, I've had stu you know, stupid comments as well. It's not that super. It's not that. In it's not that. Uh, you know, I had one person who was bitching about the fact that in a review, which is the uh, the Mysterious Cities of Gold, that basically is like. Saying like, oh, the cartoon is not a history lesson because I was uh, I said about the fact that for some reason they use um, Magellan and they basically get the time frame wrong, and so basically at the time the episode is meant, time the story is meant to be set, uh, Magellan would have, uh, I think it was, well, no, he would have already died. He would have he would have been dead, and you know, so I brought I brought it up in the review because I thought it was an it was an interesting fact. You know, if you want this. Because, in a way, at the end of the episode, there was this point, which is why I'm uh -huh. At the end of the episode, there was a, um, a little fact section. This thing where she was talking about the tribes who live in the area where the rest of the episode, where the rest of the series is going to be set. I still never watched the rest of that series. I didn't mean to. And so, I felt it was a thing worth bringing up. That, you know, if you're going to treat a sh if you're going to have your characters be treated in this way and you're going to have this time frame set up, then you kind of need to stick to what is correct. I mean, you know, you wouldn't get away with it in a, in um you know, you wouldn't get away with it in anything adult, for anything for adults, but it seems to be this thing where it seems to be more of a thing of like because it's just a cartoon, then it shouldn't be as an issue, but yeah, the guy was, the guy was pretty sort of. He was really pissed at me, and I really, I just could not, have, I just couldn't have a laugh at just how sort of over the top this guy was and what he was said. I got rid of that comment. I deleted it because you know. So it's not like like if I got like a, a huge amount of them and I had to go through it constantly and get rid of them. This is you know this is the early days of stuff where I got like one or two comments and thus then I would come. Uh, just have that I could easily just go on wipe them out and get rid of them don't have to look at them again it's quite nice but it's it's one of those things even you can say like um the, the best thing the best part of that thing which still makes it still makes me laugh it makes me laugh to this day and this is you know this was a it's kind of been a good solid year or two since then um was that he said he I can't remember what th all three were I can remember what two of them were but I can't remember all three were he's because he, he's um we're saying about the because he was complaining about me complaining about the show not being historically accurate, and he said, "Oh well, why don't you watch um, Thundercats, Do like Thundercats, Dog Tanyon, or and then there was a third one. And I don't remember what the third one was. I wish I could because I, I would just be you know I, I like to have the completion of the story. Um, but he said, but it was like that, and I just couldn't help but laugh because I just thought, well, one of them's not even set on Earth, so." It, and it aren't set, isn't set in any sort of human time frame, so it being historically accurate, would it be it would be accurate to if that world. And Dog Tanyon is set during uh, 1600s. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I've got it. I've got it sat on my shelf somewhere. But you know, it's um, it's set during a you know, few, fair few hundred years ago, sort of France, and it's like. Well, and I couldn't help but think it was like, well, unless they're, um, they've got friggin' motor, you know, cars, and they're fighting with guns instead of swords, then probably, then yes, it is historically accurate to the time. It's historically accurate to the time because it's trying to be historically accurate to the books. You know, there's no president of France running around in the fucking in the friggin' show. So yeah, so it is historically accurate. And I think that's some of the things you got to remember sometimes with the comments that you'll get if you make videos. It's just that sometimes they will be the most asinine, idiotic comments. They won't be about anything, but well, no, sorry, they will be about something, but it won't be about anything you'll understand because no one will ever explain why they're annoyed. Like I had one, per I had a comment that was just saying. Um, 
that he hated he hated uh, my kind of people. And what he I think he meant, of course I don't know because you know don't explain, it, was that he hated the fact that I um, was mocking a show. I was I was taking the make out of something he had watched as a child and. That's, I mean, this, at the same time, I was taking the mick out of some guy and watched the child as well. I didn't mind it, but I did realize, I did realize later the thing he was talking about, in a way, was due to the fact that the context of the video doesn't make as much sense if you haven't seen the other one, which was the problem. So it was it was the review of uh, the Rescue Rangers that I've got, which is it's my most watched video. I don't know why. I, you know, I have gone over this time and time again talking to people about it, and I don't know why it's my most watched video. It's got like 20,000 views, and I don't know why. It's where I've made most of the sort of, of any sort of profit for my videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I get this this one. Unless it's way, way, oh no, it's way, way above me. I'm not going to go get it. <coughs> but he, you know, he really didn't like that. And I realized that actually the video, if taken out of context, if out of context, doesn't uh, match up because basically you, you just see me mocking it you don't see me talking about the show and but at the same time I wasn't really like I wasn't going on about it and I wasn't ripping it to shreds I was quite like I questioned some of the stuff but they there was some questionable animation uh, moments and uh, questioning sort of the plot of the thing I thought you know compared to how I have said how how sort of uh, full on I have gotten with critiquing stuff on my show, I didn't really think I was, you know, really being that... Uh, that's another one that's up there, I'm not going to go get that either. Um, I didn't really think I was ever that angry about it. I didn't think I was really taking it. I was, you know, mocking it a little. I do that. I watch, you know, I watch, I mock movies I like in the same way I mock movies I don't like. It's just the way I do things. I will, I will go to another mission here. Uh, is there any reason to... Ooh, buff element of lightning. Nah, all these are the ones that basically just do uh, do stuff. Just do... <laughs> uh, it's basically just do... Um, uh, side parts. Which I don't really want to do. I want to I want to do these main stories at the time. But that, but that was the thing, you know. You will get people who... They have been... You know, you've offended them somehow. They don't explain. Which is, you know, I would be perfectly fine... Uh, to, you know, try and converse with people if they explained, but they don't. I had one person who was very, uh, was, who's basically his whole thing was just basically like, he, he put, um, uh, you, basically saying you dumb fuck, uh, it's just a cartoon. That's what he, that's what he said about it, and he's, that was about review. And I, and I replied in the very long, slightly long, long, uh, explanation that, no, I don't see it as it's just a cartoon. You mind telling us what this thing I looks seeing like? it, I see it as um, what it is. Which is basically that um, I see the I see cartoons as a form of media similar to any other form of media. You know, they are important. They have co they can have social commentary and context, and they can be made at different points, just like any movie or TV show. And fucking, I'm just driving this all kind of shit. And that's you know, that's the way I'd see it. You know, and people are getting paid to make this stuff, to animate it, to write it. And you know, it's, just because it's supposedly for kids, doesn't detract from reason. From the reason. In one of the crates around the armory, they're welded shut though. So use your telekinesis to pull the door. But that's just I. I thought you knew where it was. I do. In one of the crates around the armory. Okay, okay, no need to get touchy. But that's but that's just a thing, you know. I will You know, if I didn't have half expect to piss people off when I'm doing reviews, then really what would I be? Because that's the thing, you know you know that if you if you st if you state your opinion on the internet then well you're in for usually a world of people bitching at you say you're wrong. Fuck it, it'll be fine. It's unfortunately the way it that's where the memory modules are. Right on. I'll grab one of these assault choppers and meet you there, boss. Yes. Just don't kill everyone before I get a few shots in. Jenny, I got a long way to go before I catch up to your body count. But well, that's oh, is it? Well, that's always the same. You way, should I be think. able to find generators. Which I, I, you know, I don't. 
I don't mind because I can understand it. I can. Uh, I need to uh, upgrade. I need to upgrade my uh, thing. I think so. I can pick those guys up. But at the moment, go fuck yourselves. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this thing. Let's destroy it. Damn it. Uh, I forgot to go and pick up anything uh, better than no, I had stuff. Ow. Pick up the mud wall. The, th the thing with, um... But the funny thing is just that if you, you, know, you make videos and stuff, you put yourself you put yourself out there, you're gonna get people responding in less than friendly terms occasionally, because you're gonna say something, you're gonna say something that someone's gonna like. Or you're gonna do something that someone's gonna like. It is just, it is the way. It is, un it is an unfortunate phrase, it's fortunate in the way of the world that that is just a thing. I just, because I don't think I have ever... If someone's stated an opinion I really don't like, I've either, I think, have said, you know, I've, I've said, oh well, I don't agree, yes, you know, to explain my side of it, uh, but, you know, I've, you know, I've never uh, sworn at somebody over the, sort of the internet to basically try and get a point across. I might, maybe I have actually when I was younger, I don't know. When you're young, you're an idiot. Actually, when you get older, you're pretty much still the same idiot, you just find new ways to be set that same idiot as the trick <laughs> but, but making making videos is, is fun I won't not do it and it, you know I've got I've learned a lot about doing this stuff haven't I ah, my shotgun's way really strong oh I got a race yeah I'm going Kenzie I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going just a quick break to grab this <laughs> Quick way to grab this cluster. Yeah. Yeah. And I have fun doing the videos, but it is one of those things where I do wish that, you know, there was some, you know, some small amount of money coming in. Because, you know, I see people making videos and I see these other things. And, you know, I can't help but think, you know, well, aren't mine any just as good as them? Aren't, aren't they, you know, sometimes better? But it's, it's one of those things really, where you want, you don't want, you want to be to a degree... You you want to try and keep the sort of the humbleness maybe, but he ain't gonna do it very well. Being being tumbles. Because obviously the last generators didn't have them since they were on floating platforms. Sure, okay. Still doesn't explain the balloon part. Because they're not turned on. She doesn't know, does she? Not that she would know. I don't know where the thing is I'm supposed to be grabbing. I'm getting the shit blasted out of me. It's been fucking ridiculous. But, but I, you know, I just want what everyone would want, which is just to have the uh, have people acknowledge what I'm making, and you know, you're making something from making it. It's all well, you know, it's all well, well good to say stuff with the idea. Of once I make stuff for free, I'm gonna die if I'm gonna make this. But at the same time, you know, anyone who says they're not making something, maybe to at least make some, get something out of it in the end, should not be telling the truth too much. Fuck these giant fucking robots. Fuck them. Fuck them in the ass. Good, exploded. I'm gonna hide behind this thing and keep shooting at it until it explodes and gives me what I want. Okay, that. But I, you know, I have fun making these videos, and the same way I have fun playing this game. Actually, it's, mm -hmm. it's a fresh new thing, it's entirely different to stuff I normally don't. Think, so. It helps because you want to keep, you want to be sort of entertained with what you're doing. You don't want to be bored by it, which is kind of why I've been Silent Hill Let's Play. But I said about that the better. <laughs> Just you guys, if you haven't seen it, or if you have, then. Sorry. <laughs> At least give me a challenge. I try. I try to be funny. I really do, but it's difficult sometimes. And sometimes I do this. I just, you know, go on this. 
long rambling uh, explanations of me and my life and question if anybody really wants to hear about it. Whoa! Can you land in one piece? It's barely responded, but yeah, I think I can. Set down anywhere, Cat. I'll get to you. Kinsey, keep an eye on us. Right. Why am I having to follow him? Why can't he just leap out? He is a superhero in the simulation. He is fine. Not quite sure why I'm having to follow him like this. Oh, the game's telling me. Don't worry. If I, you know, if I can just actually fly, fly instead of just floating. Damn it! I'm not gonna make it. This thing's going down. Fuck you all! Yeah, I'm. Well, it. Seems like I picked the They all explode. Crash, Boss, Johnny, you there? We're still kicking. I'm only a few seconds out. Don't worry, I am not letting anything happen to Johnny. Uh, if Shawnee and Johnny aren't like a couple by the end of this game, I'll be When Shawnee gets there, make sure the area is clear so she can land. It's kinda obvious that's what I've been doing. Although at this point, I have slept with everybody on this game, so. I like the fact that this game has that sort of romance option you can do with each and every single person. Areas all clear. <laughs> all right, land in this thing. Let's deliver this shit to Kinsey. She's a little cranky after the Okay, the boss just wants to get smacked now at this point. Yay! Missiles and miniguns. Ah. Uh, I want to explode shit. Okay, I need to go do a weapon run, don't I, really? Because I was running out of weapons, and at the moment I've just been making do with my shotgun and my uh, twin machine guns, but really, that's that's not right for playing this game. I need, you know, rocket launchers and other explosive things that are fun and enjoyable. Uh, map. Then we look for the nearest ammunition, or whatever. It's friendly fire. I mean, ammunition's the uh, GTA one. <laughs> Oh, they're the same games. <laughs> I, it is funny if you go back to the original Saints Row in a way and you look at it, you just like, yeah, this is a GTA clone, but then you look at these ones and you can go, you couldn't, you couldn't say it. You, it would be impossible. And anyone who still could say it, I would be like, are you insane? Not even close to the same anymore. Fucking this one, you turn to a superhero. Say that about GTA. Uh, is this gateway weapons? Ah, uh, there's different things everywhere. Buying upgrade things! <laughs> oh yeah, we got the dildo map. But I want to use the energy sword, because... Well, me. Ooh, cool. Brave so <laughs> It only looks impractical. Fucking buster sword. Look at that. It doesn't have any upgrades, unfortunately. Uh, right. Pistols. Heavy pistols. I wonder how much I can upgrade... I wonder how much further I can upgrade them. Oh, and give them explosive ammo for the first point. Okay! It's, yeah, it's, it's time for the shopping. Buying all the shit! Buying all the shit! I, now, one of the. Oh, awesome. One of the things I actually really loved in this is the fact that you can customize the weapons. You actually can change them and you can. And it's not. And, you know, it's. Okay, it is entirely a cosmetic change. It does nothing else but that. But, at the same time, being able to completely change how the gun looks, and it's not just like a palette swap, it is a liter it's a literal change. Like, the shotgun I have is not the same as the old shotgun, I've just, yeah, just used everything I'm buying those. You know, like the semi-auto shotgun, if I go to customize and switch back to that, it then looks like that. If I go down to the ion blaster, it looks like that. Th that's the thing, though, it's just, I like that. I like the fact that it is, in itself, a full change. There is a change. There is a solid change to how it looks. Because they don't have to do that. That certainly could have just been. That could have been really shit. And it could have been, you know, really sort of dull. But it doesn't use it, so it's quite nice. So I am probably, given the current time frame, going to make this the last mission I'll do. This thing I'll do on here, and then I'll cut, and I'll. This will be my. Just the, the next one recorded at least, so that's good. So we gotta run! Go, boss! Run for it! Whoa, look out! <laughs> well, that was good. 
I don't wish you could actually fly instead of just doing this gliding thing. I don't know whether that's a thing you can just unlock later, which I kind of hope. But Because at the moment I can hover. Hover is the best I can do. So that's the... I don't like it's the best that I can do. It shouldn't be the best I can do. I should be able to fly and I should be able to be awesome. No, no, I, got, I was trying to think then if I managed to get this down to a sort of lesser video sort of file. Maybe so it should be. I should, I should probably start doing that maybe as a thing with video files. I don't know. I, I wish my internet was better. I wish I didn't have to uh, downgrade video files I have to be able to make you uh, have you enjoy this. So it annoys the crap out of me that I have to do it that way, but it's the only way I can do it. So what am I gonna do? And there we go. So I got I got some time looking at my little uh, sort of I wouldn't say a, a counter, but at least it tells me what I'm doing, so that's fine. So yeah, we've built a key to fuck up the giant alien a-hole and what the hell is wrong? See this, yeah, that would be part of the glitching I was talking about. The game seems to suffer. Why have we got fun shiny with us? I have marked the general location for the first power cell, though I am surprised Kinsey also sent along fake Shondi to help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fake Shondi? Kinsey explained to me that Shondi had a doppelganger who hated <laughs> Pants and was very pants. friendly. Yeah, that's me. But fake? I'm standing right here. Do not shoot the messenger. Frankly, you sound more fun than the other Shondi. And I love your hair. Ah, oh, thanks. That AI is weird. Sensors detect a cell is in this area. The closer we get to it, the more precise I can be. Whoa, this thing's pretty handy to have around. You have no idea. I have many uses. You don't double as a bomb, do you? For you, <laughs> I would find a way. Cell detected. I would like to know that it's fucking weird that <laughs> the AI in a giant ball is trying to romance a person. Even if somehow she shouldn't actually even be alive technically due to so many Check it out, a UFO. oh god I'm start shouting that again that happened in another one where they basically they kept shouting look a UFO and they kept shouting it again and again and again and I thought I was going to have to kill somebody instead I just shot the uh, UFO just got rid of it. I'm going the right way. I'm insulted how easy this is. What are you doing? What? You know you just jinxed us, right? Whatever, this is easy. Jesus, you said it again. Shawnee's afraid of the big bad jinx. It is Chekhov's gun. Saying it is too easy now means something must go wrong later. Or else there was no point to this conversation. <laughs> well, okay, given I know Chekhov's gun, that is not Chekhov's gun. Tell me when we're close to the next cell. If you do something for me. What the fuck do you want now? I require a date with this Shondi. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. What? Could be fun. The second power cell is not far, though I am detecting fluctuations in the simulation. Yeah, that means nothing to me. The Zin are altering the area in some way. I am unsure how. Like I said, we've been jinxed. We're not jinxed. We are close now. Well, the giant red thing gives it away. Wait, is that a shield generator? Told you! Damn it! The shield surrounding the power cell must be disabled, in case you could not figure that out yourself. You're taking care of this, right, Shandy? Oh no. You created the problem, you can See, solve that seems to be good. Come on, Shandy, some of these generators aren't even on! That suggests the Zin are currently adding more security to the remaining cells. I believe here we only interrupted the process. Shandy is right. Just admit I'm, not admi I'm not admitting. I'm not admitting it because that's not Chekhov's gun. The shield is down. Chekhov's gun is entirely different and right, involves different things. Power cell. So how's this date gonna work? Way to change the subject and dodge responsibility for those shield generators. No, no, I really want to know where a power mad robot takes a lady. I know a great little pizza place in town. <sighs> I love pizza. Perhaps a movie afterwards as well. How is there not rule 30? Pride and prejudice. <laughs> Sounds a little serious. How is there not rule 34 of these two? We are nearing the final power cell. I asked this truly as a sort of moment of like, why is that not totally something someone will have already drawn? The cell is not far. 
Looks like Sid was right. They've got another generator up and running. This is your cue to rub it in. No. Really? We already knew that these would be here. I don't see much of a point. Uh, at the moment, I'm just not seeing much of the point of them even being here. They don't seem to be standing in our way. I'm just kicking the crap out of it. One. Do it yourself. You're both on my shit list. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Oops, that's the wrong one. I love how it's like standing at what looks like the correct one, but no, 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 you have to be stood exactly in this position. Because if not, you won't be able to do it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm doing this shit. You ain't doing anything stopping me. What the fuck I think you are? Fuck all of you. Ow! God damn it, I think I cheat hit myself with an explosion. <laughs> it blew up. Okay, now I'm rubbing it in. But there is one more cell not far from I thought for a second I accidentally did that myself. You said that was the final one. If we had obtained it, then it obviously would have been. You okay, boss? If by okay you mean fucking annoyed, then yeah. Come on, don't be It is this game is just perfect in some of the dialogue sometimes. Have it your way. The second final power cell is in this area, and I am reading a large amount of energy output around it. So now something else is gonna go wrong. Given that our current predicament is a result of your big oh, mouth, fuck me. I would guess you are correct. This place is lit up like a Beatles concert. Sid, why is everything a target? Because <laughs> you are cursed. It is close. <laughs> because you are cursed. Almost beats dancing. Okay, it looks like I can disable them with just the general smashy smashy, so I'll fucking do that. Smashing my way through shit. That's sort of my general tactic. Break these ones, I guess, because they seem to have stopped attacking me for the time being. Come on, frick, frick, frick. Okay, I'm just supposed to smash them because I just will smash them. Just let me just do the things. Bloody game. I can't do shit. Break everything. <laughs> things are falling all around me. <laughs> fuck you! Although he's in the air, so how am I gonna fuck him? It's not a fucking. I need, to, I need to get the upgrade that stops you from ragdolling and explosions, because that would be really, really useful. And I do love that. I do love the fact that this is a designed upgrade that basically says, Oh yeah, well now, now you can just explode shit all the time. It won't ever affect you. Well, you still get damage, but still. I do kind of like that about the game, is that it has that, uh, the upgrading system. Where's the battery? Integrated into the tank, I believe. The Whoops. properties of the power cell should increase the speed, destruction, and durability of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, this tank is fast. However, the increase in power will also overload the tank and cause it to explode in a few minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you can get to Kinsey's warehouse in time, she going, can going, 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 got him away! At least there's a bright side, right? So basically, either I make it to Kinsey or I die. Correct. How would I die? I'm in a simulation. I've died countless times to just come back. There is a hookah bar not far from here. Care to join me before I return to the ship? Well, catch you later, boss. Have fun. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just be in the murder tank. Every tank's a murder tank. Let's go to a hookah bar. Have fun in the death tank. I'm up for more. Is it this game? Every tank's a murder tank. Whoa! I'm sure one of the rusty needles uh, sign is supposed to actually be Zinyak in a way. Although I'm surprised they didn't change that. I mean, it's not. It just happens to be fairly similar. Fuck you guys! I'm coming through. Try a little harder than a roadblock. Why does she keep? It's like she just designs ways to just <laughs> screw ourselves over. To not yeah, taunt the bad thoughts. guys. Are you having fun down there? On the plus side. Downside. Bro, a simulation. Don't worry. Sid contacted me and I set up the stabilization field. Simulation. Get the news back in one piece killed. and you'll be fine. Sparing me the monologue on how careful I need to be. Oh, I have that speech all prepared. Figured I'd give you a little more time before I started it. It's very big of you, Kinsey. I know. I love the fact that characters just, you know, just will give shit to each other. It's just, just it's good. The guys, the guys are we oddly well written. So you wouldn't expect quite oh, as much. Oh, good. So there we go. I've got the tank. Everything is good, and it's in just a little over an hour. So that's not too bad. So I guess with that done and me having talked about myself and DC Universe Online for most of this video instead of the game as I've been playing it, that seems a bit weird, but eh, still, hey, another achievement. This game is really, I swear to God, if you haven't played this game, play this game just for the fact that it's pretty fucking easy to just get achievements on this thing. It's kind of impressive. I mean, what, I've got how many achievements now out of how many? 
as to look 18 out of 70. Forget what I said, I talked absolute bollocks. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it's so easy to get achievements. There's fucking 70 of them, and I'm guessing that's DLC content as well. So I got a long way to go. But for now, I've been ti I've been Simon Tyus. I don't even know anymore. I'm tired. <laughs> Pretty sleepy. <laughs> but for now, I'll see you next time when I'll be playing something else. It's probably going to either be Dead Space or Dead Island. Maybe Alien Isolation. I don't know. It depends what tomorrow brings. But for now, I'll see you next time. Hey people, just want to say thanks for watching this video. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd also like to note that we also have a Facebook page and a Twitter feed that you can follow as well. And if you're feeling at all generous, we also have a Patreon page currently running that will help fund some of the other projects that I would like to do. And will also allow you to see videos a week at the most before anybody else. So all I can say once again is thanks and I'll see you next time.